Hi, Rob here. Today we're redoing the uh, caulking on our kitchen uh, backsplash. Let me show you. About two years ago, we put up this tile backsplash on our, in the kitchen. And at the time we just went ahead and uh, grouted all the joints and we put the grout down here as well. I knew better, we should have done caulking then, but we didn't. And as you can see, it's starting to uh, crack and come apart. So we're gonna scrape all this out and put in some caulking. And the way I like to scrape it out is with a utility knife. Just go in there from the bottom and the top. Get it scraped out. So let me continue with that and I'll show you in a few minutes. I've got all of the old grout removed using my uh, utility knife putty knife. And now I'm going to uh, define the edges of the new caulking using blue painter's tape. I've got all my painter's tape installed to uh, define the boundaries of the caulking. And now I'm going to use this uh, kitchen and bath adhesive caulk. It's uh, bright white and it's water soluble. So it was easy to clean up easy to apply, easy to clean up. The way I do it is I, I apply a bead of caulk right here along this joint, and then I'll come back and I'll strike it off with my finger. And then to get the excess off my finger, I have some paper towels prepared, just a paper piece of paper towel folded in half. And I'm gonna wet it with some water just on the one side here. That way, as I'm striking it with my finger, I can wipe it on the paper towel and dispose of it. And then I immediately will pull the blue tape off. Okay, here we go. Just run a bead of caulk in the uh, joint between the tape and then we'll come back and strike it off with my finger. I've got the bead of caulk spread. Now I just come back with my finger and strike it off. And then with a little pressure against the tape and then every now and then I will clean my finger off in the paper towel. The key is not to do too much at one time. Each uh, counter is about eight feet long, so I'm just doing one. I haven't started that one yet. And I've got the cock, got it spread off, and now I'm gonna come in and pull the blue tape off and you pull it pull it away from the joint as such now that I've got the tape pulled off I like to come in and give it one last final with my finger because there is a little tiny ridge that the tape leaves so ever so lightly and we have a finished product. I just finished it striking off with my finger to get the little ridge from the, uh, the tape and we have a finished product. Now I like to wait 24 hours before I put anything back on the counter just to make sure it's cured properly. And here we have the finished product. I did uh, this side first, like I said, it's about eight feet. And then I did this other side, it's also about eight feet. That's a good amount of distance to work with. If you try to do too much at a time, the cock starts to dry, and then when you pull the tape off, it gets a little way. So now, like I said, I'll wait 24 hours and then move back onto the counter. Good luck on your project. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.